imagination is what inspires music and is the secret to successful and enjoyable practice. Just then, we played you an improvisation based on the piece Olasonic. It is in a 10-8 meter, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, which reminds us of a continuous flowing river. With this rhythm inherent in our bodies, we were able to use our imagination to come up with a piece that sounded coherent together. Now, once you uncover some of the basics of playing, you too can compose pieces by yourself. Take for example that piece. Olasonic is in the key of A minor. So that means our first tonic note A is Do. Our second note is Re or B. Third note, Mi. Fourth note, Fa. Fifth note, So. La, D, Do. Think of some melodies that use Do, Re, Mi. Think of Frere Jaca. Do, Re, Mi, Do. Excellent. Now, why don't you try and come up with your own melodies? You can write down your own melodies using Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Now, once you've done that, you can then start to add your own harmonies to it and play with the second person. Usually the intervals of thirds and sixths sound good together. It's also important to make your practice sessions interesting. When you're playing these technical exercises and learning the notes of Do, Re, Mi, pretend your fingers are little birdies that fly down onto the string. They perch themselves and you pluck the string to make them sing. Remember that 90% of playing is believing and not second guessing. Don't underestimate the power of your mind. You can do anything you put your mind to. In order to fully use our imagination and rely more on our mind and our ears rather than the visuals, which so predominantly preoccupies most of our lives today, try practicing in darkness or closing your eyes when you practice. Good creative practice means being focused 100% of the time. Try to do whatever it takes to restrain your mind from wandering beyond what is happening. Also try to think before playing to reduce your mistakes. Singing the pictures really helps with this. When I improvised just before, I was always thinking ahead of what I was doing and I had a direction in my mind. Also try visualizing or charade acting out your movements without the violin and conducting to build on your imagination. Integrate imagery into your movements. Remember the feeling of pictures in your hands. In the D major scale, two and three are super close to each other. They're best friends on both the D and the A string. Whilst one and two are really far apart because they smell. You can also make practicing passages fun, pretending it's a workout. Start slowly and pick up the pace. Here you're working on your mental fitness, not just your physical fitness. For example, this piece is called Working Out in G Major. Then gradually 
gradually build up the pace with your metronome. You can even make up stories or words to go with your pieces to make them more interesting. For example, this piece is called Snacking at the Deli. So while you're playing it, you can imagine all the stringy salami you are eating. Yum. Remember that using your imagination and your mind is the best and most long-lasting kind of practice and memory work you can use. If you cannot visualize what it is you wish to become, then the brain doesn't have the first clue how to get you there. Technique on the violin is truly a matter of the brain. Mm-hmm.